What's up guys, I'm your host Brian from Sports and Outdoors TV and this episode, like I promised last episode, I'm going to show you a video on basically um, everything I have inside of my tackle box, my small tackle box, and uh, as well as a couple of baits that I use uh, to fish with. So let's go ahead and jump into what I have in my tackle box. So. We'll start off on the bottom right corner here. We have these two lures. Um, these are mainly for catfish uh, fishing. There's a little hole that you can insert your uh, your catfish bait into there with uh, kind of matches that picture right there. And basically, they'll tr the fish will try to get inside of that, but the, or the small fish can't reach inside of it. But the big fish will grab hold of the whole thing, and they'll get that treble hook stuck into their mouth so that's what that's for I don't normally use that but uh, it works I'm, I would imagine pretty well on catfish so uh, now we move on to some lures here these are just uh, normal bass lures I actually haven't used these two right here but I know this lure right here works very well for uh, getting bass out of the into the open they definitely go after that right there but the main lure that I usually catch my bass on for some reason is just this normal simple pink lure with the little frail tail right here and I've caught uh, one of my bass on there but yeah and then you got your top water baits um, so this is a big bait um, it has this little shovel like kind of thing in the front which makes it wobble back and forth in the water uh, this one has a smaller one All right. but yeah I haven't had much luck with these actually but uh, we'll see maybe it's just the spot I'm fishing in but who knows but uh, yeah most most luck for baths comes with these uh, just crazy you know stringy lures that's where you'll catch the most bass so I'll recommend that to y'all and then also you'll get you'll catch many bass on uh, worm baits fake worms like this uh, definitely this right here this will get you a lot because um, all these little paddles in the back will like they'll fly around when you jig it it'll really go they'll definitely see that and go after that um, then I have my weights and stuff, um, some small hooks in there, I have a couple of those hooks right here actually, some little hooks for a uh, little perch and stuff to catch your bait fish or whatever. Um, then I got some bobbers, this one's a little broken, I think I found that one, but I bought these right here, pretty good foam, they kind of wear and tear on it, or you know, they wear down pretty quick, but they work very well easy to get on and I got a new lure here same as that blue one right there no luck with that yet some more uh, bobbers and a little cane hook thing they're actually really well like uh, on there they have a little string that's attached but yeah that works pretty well so yeah, that's all the stuff in the tackle box. Put that aside. Now we're gonna move on to just a cal only two baits I have right here. But this bait right here is a uh, Gulp's pink uh, rubber fake little worm things. Well, they work really well for. Um, uh, let me go ahead and set this down real quick. They work well for perch and little fish. Um, You'll definitely, you can catch some turtles on it and stuff as well. They'll go after that, but, uh, basically, it's a fine, you know, little thick rubber grub looking thing. But you can cut them in half, put them on small hooks, they'll go right after that. They think it, it smells good, it's basically flavored rubber, but definitely works really well for a smaller fish. If you're trying to catch bait fish, that's what I have it for. And then you got your your 
old fashioned catfish bait. Smelly, smelly stuff, man. I don't want to touch it too much, but this stuff will smell up. So, I mean, I take it with me, but it smells up my car. But, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I haven't had much luck on this, actually, because usually when I go catfish, uh, catfishing, I'll use, you know, I have more luck with, uh, you know, steak or something, or shrimp or anything like that. That'd be a better bet. So, if I were to recommend a catfish bait, it would definitely be, you know, nightcrawler, steak, shrimp, chicken, anything of that sort, and you don't need that much either. And I would probably set it on the bottom. The rig would be just, you know, a weight and a hook. You know, set it on the bottom. They'll go after it. They'll pull it, and then all you have to do is set the hook. But, yeah, for bass fishing, I would definitely recommend, you know, lures or just a nice, uh... Wait, I skipped over my hooks. I also have some hooks in here. But, um, or just a nice big hook, and you can put, uh, a little perch on there if you catch with the, uh, the gulp bait. But, yeah... So yeah, that's been uh, a little review of what I have in my tackle box and my two baits here. So uh, stay tuned for next episode coming soon. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but you'll you'll see when it happens. All right. So uh, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.